when you don't have lash curlers. <laughs> All right, Diego, do you want to take I over? Came with this idea, I been like, Damn. Tell them where we're at. We're at Pooh Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> so it's their first time here. And Sasha, do you like it? No, you have to put it back. Sasha, bye. Pull it back. So let's see what we're going to order after. We just came from Korean chicken. Alright, so Diego got the blueberry with gummy bears and strawberries. How is it though? Good. Good. She's got the Thai. Thai milk tea? No, yeah. Jap Japanese. Mm. Alright, done, yo. Yeah. No, Sasha was like, so I got the Thai tea. You want to try? Go. I'm gonna kill this too. Uh -huh. Oh my god, carried so much stuff, but I want to show you guys this shoe that my supervisor gave for me, or gave to me rather, it's so cute. And it's funny because I always get new, like, gently used shoes from her, but I can definitely wear this, like, to Lush or something when I work there, it's all black. I'm gonna assume that it's, like, somewhat waterproof, you know? So there's that. And then I also got this new throw blanket, which I'm so, 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 so excited to use. And I sprayed like this scent on it. But I've been eyeing this throw for a while. It's kind of expensive, but it is from a brand name, sort of. Like one of those ethical source brand names. But, oh, I can't wait to sleep with this tonight. And I thought it went really well with my room. And then I also brought this home because... Basically, a customer accidentally dropped it. I dropped the lid. So I love olives. I don't have a lid with it, but how cute is that? Just to kind of like put olives inside. I'm debating if I should keep it or give it to uh, my sister and my brother-in-law because they love doing like charcuterie boards and stuff like that. And then I went to a which I'm called. I went to a stationery store because they're closing down sadly. So I got myself these cute ass socks because you can never get enough socks. So I got that. I got this panda one because the heel goes in there. It's all fucking cute. And it was all like 60 to 70% off. Got another panda. I thought it was super cute. And then I got a bunch of stationery stuff. So this is for like you know, when I write birthday cards to people and I want to put stickers in there. I'm usually not a sticker person, but I thought, hey, it's pretty cheap right now. And also, Charlie, Carmen, please, if you guys watch my vlog, please skip like 10 seconds of this. So I got Charlie this for like one of, a bit of his Christmas gift. Uh, so it's like a sticker and I know he's into it. So there's that. So you can decorate like a laptop or whatever. I also got him this cute ass cup and at first I wasn't going to get it because he used to work at Miniso but I thought, yo, this cup is so fucking cute and I know he would appreciate it. How cute this is. So when you pour liquid in it, it turns into the shape of the bear. So I thought that was fucking cute. And I also got these stickers because if you're a close friend of mine, you know how obsessed I am with giraffes. So. I don't know why I bought stickers to be And I also got this as part of Sasha's gift. So it's like a squishy and I think she has a thing for ice cream right now. So I think this would be a cute ass toy to just like play with. And I don't know if she's into that. I hope she, she likes it. I got two of these whiteouts because um, I really like the style of whiteout where you just go like that. And they're really cute packaging. So I got that. And I also got this. Oh, so I also got these stickers, so it's kind of like the other sweet one, but it's mattified. Um, I got a bunch of washi tapes, y'all. It's no joke. But I'll show you guys that soon. This one, I'm not sure if I want to keep it for myself or if I'm going to give it as a gift. But look how fucking cute this necklace is. Like, it's a cat with a bell. I know exactly who to give this to. But my inner self is saying, try it on first and see if you like it, you know. But, oh, it's so fucking cute. Yeah. There's that. And then these 
washi tapes that I got is like mainly for if I'm gift wrapping and I want to put like a decorative tape. I mean, you know, if I do a future giveaway, I definitely do want to wrap it up nicely. So I got a couple. I think these two are the same. And they had a deal where I was like, if you buy five, you get one free or some shit. Look at how cute this is. It's like a foil. Decorative foil. And then got this cat one. Which I think is so cute. I think I got two of these as well. Yeah, yeah I did. And sometimes washi tapes are really expensive. But here it was like $3.75 plus 60% off. So. This one, I couldn't really tell what the style of it was. But I saw like this makeup palette there. So I'm like, yo. Little makeup stuff there. Has a sports bra there. What the fuck? It's so random. A boot. So this is very like dressy and stylish. That's really cute, actually. Put that back. And, uh, this one, which is like random flowers and stuff. And I was thinking too, I can use it for my journal. But basically, that's it. That's all I got. But yeah, so cute. Oh yeah, and tomorrow. <laughs> I'm working early so I gotta shower wash my hair I already washed my hair yesterday but I noticed that because I'm not using a cleansing um, shampoo for my roots my roots feel kind of like oily so I have to rewash my hair again today to make sure that it doesn't feel oily for tomorrow but yeah I'm just gonna put all these away and then <sighs> party shower okay so I really want to try this yeah got it from Pima let's try it out and see how it is i really hope it's spicy because if it ain't i'm gonna be like what hopefully you guys can see me Actually really really good I'm thinking of buying a bunch of weird flavors one day and go all out and then do a video for you guys but all right so I'm finally gonna try this weird ass Asian sausage okay that sounded wrong but you know what I mean like Asian fish sausage and it's worth the hype, so let's try it out, and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. So basically, it says delicacy winter sausage on it, and on the side it says Maruzan brand. Okay, I do smell it a little bit, and it looks like this. Oh god, I really hope it's good. I hope it's not like juicy or anything. Oh, it actually looks quite interesting. Ooh. Okay, so it has like this weird ass skin on top, which I guess I just peel off like that. So I guess it's like a Chinese cheese string, but in a sausage meat. Oh my god, it looks so wrong. actually tastes like you know those beef balls and fish balls it tastes like a fish ball but in a sausage form it smells really stinky though but it's actually not bad would i purchase it again maybe not i prefer beef jerky but not bad all right next thing i'm gonna try sorry bad angle oh my god it's gonna fall okay wait Okay, next thing I'm going to try is this marinated egg thing. I'm kind of scared to try this, but it's got to be done. Oh, there's an opening here. And I have a plate here in case it drips. I 
I think I'm in a snacky mood because my period is coming in like two or three days. Interesting. No smell. I'm really curious to see how this is going to taste like. Because I, I like eggs, but the fact that it's, you know, in, a, in its own package and air sealed kind of makes me a little bit nervous. Oh my god, ew. Oh my god. It smells like chocolate. What the fuck? Hmm. Okay. That's so weird. It smells like chocolate, but it just tastes like a hard-boiled egg that's been boiled with, like, soy sauce water. Okay. Would I repurchase this again? Probably not because I can just make it myself. Oh, look how close that looks. And we are going to uh, it feels so good when the whole apartment is back to clean. I know it looks a little bit cluttered, but it's because we still have our stuff here. And of course, I'm watching Bubs. But this candle is so good. Like, I already finished one. This lasted me for like the whole seasonal year. And yeah emptied that so I have a new one here and I love the crackling effect just because it makes it feel a little bit more homey so I might buy another one uh, once it gets halfway or closer to the season just so I can have one in stock but oh, it's like probably one of my favorite candles I love foodie or sweet scents you can see my skin is getting a lot better it feels like my skin again there's no rough spots but obviously there's still some redness and there's acne here which is a little weird but season's changing so I can't really complain but the rest of my face is being pretty good um, I'm just basically using let me show you guys what I'm using so far that really did help my skin get better so I'm using one that's a fresh impression that's been helping but I also have been using the aquamarina now in pot it smells like shit like I don't not shit but it smells like fishy but when you actually use it onto your skin it smells like fresh um, light flowers I don't know how to explain it but it smells really good when you mix it with water so it has like calamine seaweed chunks but it works really well to get rid of like any sort of dry skin and, and I remember I recommended it to Charlie and he really enjoyed it as well and he has like dry skin around the nose so that's been helping me a lot ever since I used that I noticed that the rough patch on this side was taming down and I think I'm breaking out because I've read lots of great reviews about uh, this one and these are lush products by the way so this is the ultra bland um, why I steered away from this was because it's kind of oily I'm not gonna lie but because I've been testing out these cleansing balms anyways, which is basically the same sort of formula but in a solid shape, I thought, hey, why not incorporate this, especially when it's getting colder outside and it has been working well. I think I've been breaking out though because of it, just because it's like bringing out my extra oils in some areas and this used to be a dry patch. So I think my oil, re oil reproduction is like, whoa, make up some more, right? So this has been working really well as well. So if you guys are looking for new skincare, something that's minimalistic but also works, definitely check those out because, yeah. And today I was supposed to work 6 to 10, but I was like, you know what? I need a day off aside from Thanksgiving just to kind of like relax. And then the other day, I forgot to vlog it, but I fell down a, like two sets of stairs, which wasn't that bad. But because the stairs were made out of concrete, it was kind of... Like, it hurt a lot. I have a bruise on my knee. And also the side of my thigh is, like, scraped. So I'm just taking this day off to clean, but also to kind of, like, reset my mind. You know, just do laundry, did groceries, so that was great. Um, same old, really. Nothing happening. But remember when iMats did a thing and then I called them because I was getting stressed out? So I was looking at my phone bill and fuck, like, they charged me long-distance calls, which pisses me off because not... Only did IMATS not give me a refund or a switch for the dates as they promised on their website. They didn't respond to my email. And also, um, 
charges on my long distance, which is not their fault, but it kind of like adds on to the whole like, oh, why? Like I, I was put on hold. It's so annoying. So that's another $45 on the drain. But yeah, I should do the IMATS haul for you guys very soon. Just I'm trying to change up my room in terms of like the duvet covers and stuff like that to my usual fall time one. And I, also it matches with my new throw. So let's do this.